Самолет падает. Или это шахид, Не, не, это сама нихуя все A Su-25 fighter plane belonging to the occupying Russian army was destroyed near the city of Konstantinovka, Donetsk region. The images taken by the Ukrainian military were spread on telegram channels. A fire broke out in the area where the remains of the plane fell. According to some possibilities, the plane could have been shot down by the Russian air defense system. The fate of the crew members is not reported. This plane is close support and ground attack aircraft. In service since 1984. Designed specifically for close air support missions. From first flight in 1975 to first Su-25 unit were operational in 1984 a number of modifications were done. The Su-25 features titanium cockpit armoring and wingtip pod airbakes. Built in many versions, Su-25K export version, Su-25UB and export Su-25UBK two-seats version, Su-28 advanced trainer and Su-39 anti-tank version with new NAV system and laser range finger in the nose. Used by Russia and many East European air forces. Пидорский самолетик, пидорский. Долетал из пидорасы, блядь. Да ты едешь. Бля, не успел. А остальные это? Да это, бля, наверное, это. А вот все. А вот все. Ого, а вот она сейчас. А вот я сюда. Вот и другая часть. Да, не было не так, и так бы сейчас поехал на место падения. Да все... The Estonian government has already held discussions and debates regarding the possible scenario of sending their military on non-combat missions to Western Ukraine. This information was officially confirmed by the head of the Ministry of Defense of Estonia, Hanno Pevkur, according to Polish radio. He also emphasized that no one has made a final decision yet as the country's authorities are very concerned about the safety of their instructors in Ukraine, which is constantly under attack from Russia. If we had a large contingent, say a bridge-sized unit with equipment, it would be a very big target for the Russians, Hanno Pevkur noted. The head of the Defense Department also reminded once again that the decision to introduce troops to Ukraine should be made by consensus of NATO member states. In addition, official Tallinn wants to take into account absolutely all nuances. First of all, it is about force protection measures as well as logistics. Therefore, we are currently continuing our studies in Poland and Great Britain. 
Let's see how this topic will develop, Hanno Pevkor said. The catastrophic failure of the Russian Blitzkrieg in Ukraine, which resulted in huge losses for the aggressor in a 30-month meat grinder, convinced other neighbors of the Russian Federation of their ability to resist a possible Russian invasion. This is written by the American magazine The Hill. The publication notes that according to Western estimates, Russia has lost about 200,000 soldiers killed and 400,000 wounded in Ukraine. Losses in the main types of military equipment are also astronomical. This, as well as Ukraine's success in the Black Sea and deep strikes on Russian military facilities and oil refineries, inspired other neighbors of Russia, in particular Estonia. In mid-September, Chief of the General Staff of the Estonian Defense Forces, Major General Vahur Karus, told Estonian media about a change in the country's defense doctrine. In the past, the plan was to hold out for 10 days before the country was occupied by the Russians or saved by reinforcements from NATO allies. Now, the Estonian army has a completely different plan. This is because of the changes that the war in Ukraine has brought to many NATO allies. We can no longer wait to be hit over the head with a sledgehammer, but we have to be the ones who can do certain things first," Karus said. The Hill interprets these words as Estonia's intention to preemptively invade Russia if relations between the two countries reach a boiling point. According to the authors of the publication, if Estonia thinks so, then Latvia, Lithuania, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, and perhaps several other former Soviet republics feel the same way. The publication notes that the Estonian army, which can deploy 60,000 personnel during a war, is quite capable, with NATO support, of implementing something similar to the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region in the Russian border area. In a word, Putin has brilliantly managed not only to reduce Russia to the level of a second- or third-rate country, but also to surround it with potential enemies, the publication notes.